Alright guys, so welcome back to Evo Land 2. I'm excited to get back into this. And um, we are hopefully... Yeah, so last time out, we would just got into the Dark Forest uh, area. And we'd also got the new like 3D thing. I think we'd found one of the Magisphere, Magis, Magilith things. And we got sent through another dimension. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much where I got to. And uh, and the... Oh, man, I, I can't think of people's names in this. The dark guy. Uh, the, the person in the middle. It's only been a week and I've already forgotten people's names. Great stuff, Nock. Um, yeah, the guy uh, in the middle there. The, the dark guy. We just upgraded his power, didn't we? We went into we went to see this um, witch over here, and we brought her something, and she was able to um, mean us. Thanks, Fumbly. Glad someone's paying attention. Um, yeah, we upgraded Minos's power, so we can now hit a um, bigger area, I believe. Yeah, we needed to bring her some mana, and we brought her some mana. <clears throat> I think it's my throat already. Um, yeah. Okay. This could be an interesting stream if I start to lose my voice. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I'm not really sure what we need to do next. Um, we went into the forest there, and we defeated that little... Bo well, little, we defeated the boss in there. I guess we're just going to make our way backwards, right? And, uh... Start attacking some blobs. And some squirrels, of course. Where'd that squirrel go, though? Man, he was moving fast. like some little shady secret area. Oh, no. Nope. I was about to say, it's like some shady area, but I think it just looks like the squirrels just seem to uh, really go around at some with some pace here. All right, so let's head back over in this direction. Sorry, Mr. Squirrel. And of course, for Mika, we're going to be whacking all the weeds as we go. For sure, our boss is tough enough to smash that boulder. I tell you, though, he's as stubborn as a freaking goat. He barely ever leaves that haunted forest. You'd have to force him to move his hiney over here, but nobody dare. I mean, he just scares everybody off. But deep down, he's a real nice guy. Hi there. It's not often you see somebody on this side of the bridge. We used to call this main... Main bridge, but a hundred years ago a boulder fell and blocked it. No one's ever been able to remove it. Then again, since the war ended, people don't really come out to the demonia anymore. Anyway, I doubt any human will ever break that boulder. Maybe not, but we can charge up our big skill. You shall pass. Uh, you're not going to acknowledge the fact that I've Got rid of the boulder, no? I guess not. Man, one of those weird things. It's like firing at me. I gotta watch out for them. I know, right? Oh. Um. Excuse me. Thank you. Weird stuff be happening. The game's getting unfocused again. I'm not really sure, sure what's causing that. All right. Anyway, let's um, loot and pillage this grass area a little bit more, and uh, then we will head on through to the other side of the bridge.
and uh, see if we can't uh, carry on. Alright, so where should we go to next then? We've got obviously... That area, which is like um, the scientist area. Now, we tried to do something here before and there was nothing to do. I wonder if he is... I guess that's just a cloud. Um, I wonder if he's similar to the witch. Whereby we need to bring him some stuff and then he'll do something. Although it looks like we're advancing the story. The Great Destroyer shall punish you all. Very uh, Zelda-esque um, like logos and designs on that uh, door right there. And what did I do to deserve such neembicles? Nee. Well, will no one open this for me? We sent for someone, vulnerable prophet. Nee! How dare you make me languish here? Ha! Finally! One of these days I'll have to change that mechanism. But it's the surest way to protect my precious, my very precious stone of time. <laughs> Alright, so he's uh I see TNT, can I not like no, I guess not. Don't even try to scale the pyramid. It's so slippery, even the famed ninja squirrels never made it to the top. To get inside you'd need to reach it by air, but with our wings it cannot be done. When humans fly, as they say. Alright. Isn't it when pigs might fly? Isn't that the saying? I came here to become a disciple, but novice training is really difficult. You have to master quite a few skills. I'm not sure I'll make it. Okay, interesting. The number five has always intrigued me. I mean, really, it's a special number, don't you think? Mm. It pops up everywhere. The story of the five little pigs. Five little pigs? The tale of the five musketeers. And of course, the five keys to be collected by the great destroyer before annihilating the world. As strange as strange can be. Why five? Uh, pretty sure you're, uh, you've got your uh, numbers a little bit wrong there. Your, old, your new platform's complex. Have they revamped it over the summer, Mika? I've always dreamed of touching the Stone of Time, but only the Prophet has this honour. Our greatest treasure, kept safely atop of the pyramid. Do you think that by touching one can communicate with the Great Destroyer? I don't know, but I'll smash your pots. How's that? Do you want to take the Novice Test? Sure. Fine. Listen carefully to my question and choose the correct answer. Great disaster was the first omen of the world's annihilation. What will the second be? That is incorrect. It would seem your education is incomplete. Go back and study the holy word of the prophet. You can also seek advice from the other disciples. Come back when you have the answer. Um... Did I miss... Uh, maybe I've not spoken to everybody. I'm guessing the disciples have the answer, but definitely none of the disciples I've spoken to uh, have the answer. Uh, they just they seem to sort of like made it a bit more like tricky to find what you're looking for. See that beautiful pyramid? We're the ones who built it. It's required. It required lots of hard work, but when water covers everything, We'll be able to take shelter in there. Ah. So, okay, he's just giving me the answer right there. <laughs> so, the the next great thing is going to be a flood, because he said when the great when uh, the flood comes, we'll be able to shelter inside. When the water comes, at least. 
Entry to the Great Period is restricted. Only the Prophet and the oldest disciples may go in. And there's no point searching for the key. The door only opens from the inside. Which could be problematic at times, actually. Just the other day, the Prophet was locked out because of the sudden draft. It took a whole week to force the door open, and then it had to be replaced. The Prophet proclaimed drafts to be a sign of the world's annihilation. Yo, Crazy and Atom both here. What's going on, guys? Hope you're well. Hope you're well. It kind of, I don't know, it seems a bit of a... This, obviously, they didn't, like, take a lot of feedback of, like, how students found the current system then, Mika, and they just decided to, like, um, create a new one sort of thing. It seems a bit of a crazy thing to do. Exactly. That's why we built the pyramid. That way, we'll all be able to survive when water covers the world. Your novice training isn't over yet. Speak to the other prof professors to continue the test. Okay. Yes. Before destroying the world, the great destroyer must first do something. What is it? Um, collect the five keys. Surely a hidden meaning to the keys, but the prophet is un unequivocal equivocal when it comes to the number five. There's no yet. Speak to the other prophets. Alright, so this guy must have the last question. The great eye symbolizes the great destroyer. It is etched into our most precious treasure. What is the treasure? The stone of time. Well done. Indeed, the stone of time is kept at the very top of the pyramid. Prophet discovered it near the, the smoke shortly after the great disaster. Congratulations, you passed the novice test. Yeah, no, we had two days of playing Portal Crazy, so um, I decided to uh, switch it out and uh, get back to some Evo because I was meant to be playing Evo Land last night as well. So, to become a disciple, you need to go to Windy Valley and then climb Mount Alpha. On Mount Alpha, you'll have to spend an entire day meditating before our symbol, the Great Eye. Only then will you be ready to become a disciple. Okay, so we need to go to a top of mountain then, right? We need to go to the Windy Valley, the Windy Ridge, or whatever it's called. Alright, so let's head on over in that direction then. No way they couldn't have just like made an easy path. Right out both sides of there. Kuro! Look! Look at that! What happened here? Where's my village? My parents? My friends? Everything's gone! I had my suspicions, but now I'm sure of it. This isn't our, in our time period. We have to find out what happened. Let's try Geneva. So, oh, sorry, Geneva. Someone there should be able to tell us. Uh, was this Geneva? Wait, though, isn't doesn't? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Windy Ridge is down. Yeah, you see, Windy Ridge was over here. So, guess I can't get to it now. Oh no, we can still get to Windy Valley. Alright, so we need to get to the top of the mountain. Anyway, um, let's head to Geneva. You are now entering the great trade capital, Geneva. Be sure not to make any trouble, and we'll ensure your safety. Traders and disciples, traders and disciples, all day long. All I see are traders and disciples. It's crazy. Has everyone really become a trader or a disciple? You just got to Geneva, right? It's obvious from your tan. You spend too much time outdoors. In Geneva, my delicate skin is protected from the sun's harmful rays by the vapors of the smog. Yikes, everything's like mechanical and... Uh, Causing a lot of smog here. But let me through. I'm training. I need to build up my strength if I want to climb Mount Alpha. That's the only way I can become a disciple. Mm. 
Not the same guy. Can't seem to find my key to the library, but I'm certain I left it here. I simply must find it to continue my study of the scientific explanation for the pre predominance of traders in an Econo-religious econo system within a post-disaster society. Jeez, this guy needs to get out more and stop reading books. And where has where has my mim Mimi gone? Still hanging around with her friends, I suppose. Well, as long as she stays out of trouble and lets me work. Now, where is that blasted key? Can I find the key instead? I'm not sure what I want with the key, but... I guess we're just gonna have to check the houses. This door is closed. We got some coffee. You there? It's your lucky day. You just won this gem of a home. Claiming it is so simple, a child could do it. A child with ten thousand G. That is my modest purchase fee. So, what do you say? No. Listen, I like the cut of your, cut of your gym, so I'm going, to, I'm going to go out of my way to offer you a redund, reduced price. 5,000 G is my final offer. So, what do you say? No. You drive a hard bargain. Okay, 500 is the cash up front. Aha, thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm most delighted to get rid of, I mean, to sell you this charming abode. Enjoy your new home. you got the key to your house. Might be a good idea to invest in the keychain, huh? All right, so we just bought a house. Considering he wanted like ten thousand for start, and he sold it for five hundred. I think that guy needs to go back and learn how to uh, to haggle a bit more and, and barter. Have you noticed those pipes outside Geneva? They pump the smog that, that provides us with energy. What is smog composed of? You don't know? Why? Do you think it could be dangerous? Uh, yeah. All right. Well. I got a bed. Yeah, sure. I'll sleep. You feel well rested and raring to go. Guess there's nothing. Ooh, I was in so much of a rush to get rid of the house. Hey, it's McDonald's, but not McDonald's. I can't remember what it was. Was it Wookdonald's? Wondonald's? Wookdonald's, that's it. We've been serving healthy gourmet food for a hundred years. My great-grandfather founded this restaurant, which fast became the best place to dine in all of Geneva. I know, right? It's still like, I sold you the house, but it reminds me of a film I watched um, a while ago. Which was, I can't think of the name, but a guy sold his house and then he was still like hanging around and he's like started doing jobs. But it turned out, although he'd sold the house, he was still like, he was like, got this little secret bunker under the house and he was like living in there and tormenting the, uh, um, the owners. He found a book that your grandfather gave his birth present when he was 14 or 15. I was not happy to get that novel, but I decided to give it a try tomorrow. Kind of a cowboy with action, small hint of romance. Well, you know, um, always try new things, Mickey. You might be surprised. You might be surprised. You might absolutely love it. So you have to let us know how it goes for sure. He's a real legend in our family. Uh, also, just notice over here, if you look at this uh, portrait over here, that's the town from, uh, for those of you that watch my Evil Land 1 playthrough, that's the town from Evil Land 1, where we got the DVD player and the uh, airship. Uh, Ako, 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 yeah, I can't, I can't remember what it's called. It was sort of the beginning of a Aoki, Akoi. No, I'm not going to push that over. His face is all red and he's barely speaking. I hope he didn't eat anything too spicy. It makes him seem so delicate. It's adorable. It has been months since I started saving up to ask, saving up to ask Flora out to this restaurant. I so want to tell her how I feel, but I just can't. Well, didn't you just speak that out loud? Usually wanted a lot of money. 
There might be thousands of Wok Donalds, just like, you know, real life and everything. I gotta say, once you're selected to join the Elite, you've got it easy. I drink to all those morons who believe in the Great Destroyer. Without their donations, we could never afford this kind of joint. Ha 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 ha, no doubt about it. This is nice to eat something other than camp food. Luckily, I've moved up in the ranks. Otherwise, I'd still be digging with the other idiots. Well, clearly, they haven't got a McDonald's uh, around near them. That's why they travel all this way to eat here. Man, the food here is amazing. Hotkey revealed. Me and the wife come here all the time. I like how everything's natural. Did you know all the food is guaranteed smoke free? That means it's healthy, and what's more important in life than being healthy? Oh, is there any houses over here? Okay. You in the market for a smoke fueled furnace? Step right up. Ours are the very best out there. Guaranteed to have minimal smoke emissions. And at an unbeatable price too. Buy a smoke furnace and you'll save on wood. It's very good for the forest. Did, did you know that? And if you purchase one right now, you'll pay 0.1% less tax. So, what do you say? No. What are you, sales pitch proof? If everyone's like you, my business will go down the drain. Mr. Fogwell is a real nice trader. Maybe too nice, in fact. Whenever he says hello, I immediately want to buy something from him. Either way, he's a very powerful trader. It's a great honor to, for the disciple to be able to spy, I mean, to guard Mr. Fogwell's home. Oh, you don't know Mr. Fogwell? He's only one of the richest merchants on the whole continent. What rating out of 10 would I give McDonald's? Probably about a two. I'm not a big McDonald's person. Also, isn't that like this logo here reminiscent of Professor Layton? Mr. Mudwell. Well, hello there, citizen. I shouldn't say his name. What can I do for you? Oh, I'm but a humble trader from a long line of traders. My grandfather was already a professional merchant at the time of the Empire. He was a real hero, helping those who needed passage in, in and out of Geneva during the war. Oh yeah, it was, yeah, it was, um, he helped us get out, didn't he? Yeah, his grandfather or whatever it was. He did many favours, and he also earned money, his keep, earned money, his keep, by working. Thus, he was born the Fogwell dynasty. Quite a beautiful story, ain't it? What can I do for you? A great disaster happened 60 years ago on the 50th anniversary of the Empire's victory over the demons. No one knows exactly what happened except that a huge explosion wiped out the southern part of the continent. Geneva was not entirely spared and the turmoil that followed ultimately led to the Empire's demise. Thankfully, the traders were there to restore order. What can I do for you? After the great disaster, my father and his merchant friends came to the Empire's rescue. They formed the council that would take actions necessary to, to, to act necessary to take actions necessary to Geneva's survival. Someone needed to act quickly, what with all the chaos. The military was created to replace the army, and the former imperial tax system was abolished to make way for a fairer system. They gave people their freedom back. Since then, everyone is free to do to to do trade and become wealthier. Oh, naturally, traders' sons all become traders themselves, but at least everyone has a chance. The explosion of the Great Disaster left behind a gaping hole filled with this strange substance. As no one rightly knew what the stuff was, people called it smog. Our scientists quickly found that smog could be used as an energy source. The traders declared a monopoly on the buying and selling of smog and built the, sm the smog line to transport it to Geneva. Since then, everything here has been fueled with smog. And every, every time people use some more money lines the council's pockets. Isn't the technology grand? Yeah, it sounds like a bit of a monopoly to me, but hey ho. If you're in need of a favour, feel free to come and see me. I'd be thrilled to do what I can and by any means and means at my disposal in exchange for a service of like value, of course. I don't do pro bono. Ahaha. Ha. Pro bono. 
Ha ha ha. As if it weren't were even a thing. Ha ha ha. Uh, okay. Yeah, I uh, we we were away at the weekend, and um, some uh, was with, with some friends in London, and like they were like, oh yeah, we like we decided I wanted to go to dinner. They're like going to McDonald's, and so I'd rather, rather poke sticks in my eyes. Like McDonald's is not a place I go to. The only time I will like tolerate a McDonald's is if I'm out at work and I need like early, I need like a breakfast or something. Or if I just want to grab like a McFlurry or something. That's the only times I'll go to McDonald's. But other than that, I don't eat McDonald's food at all. I uh, just got to do um, a quick errand, guys. Got to go and uh, say night to my kids. So uh, two secs and I will be right back. All right, guys. I'm back. Sorry about that. I apologize. All right. What has hotkeys exposed again? Uh, what does Fina have to say? The great disaster. My village swallowed up by the smog. And look what's become of Geneva. Kuro. Is that really our future? You did not mention demons. They must be hiding somewhere. I cannot believe they all vanished into thin air. That's not the number one problem here. My village, my parents, everyone's gone. Kuro, we have to stop this great disaster from happening. I understand your anguish, Miss Fina. But if it is indeed possible to change the course of events, we should start by saving my people. That can't be changed, Minas. The demon's defeat is a part of history. I learned about it in school. It is, it's in the past. But what's happened here? That hasn't happened yet. Perhaps in your past, Miss Fina. But to me, your present is my future. What might be... Well, it's going to get confusing here. Your past is my future. What might happen to the Empire is none of my concern. I want my people to live, to, to live, to not be wiped out by your, by our enemy. But if the Empire doesn't defeat the demons, that could change everything. I mean, maybe I wouldn't even exist. It's just too risky. And what of the people who live here now? Maybe they too will disappear if you alter the past. Does that not bother you at all? But who knows exactly what can or cannot be changed? It may well be that all of this already exists. Perhaps we have already come here. We have already done all this. So no matter what we do, nothing can be changed. You know what, Minas? I don't really know. But I'm at least going to try. That's all we can do. How about you, Kiro? Do you think we can change the chime? Uh, yeah, I've probably changed events in the past, yeah. You see, Minus? Kiro is an optimist, just like me. And if we can, what do you think we should change? Ooh. Hmm. I guess... We should really change both, right? And then humans and demons could live in harmony together. Thank you, Solid Snail. I knew that I could count on you. Are you sure, Kuro? It's pretty risky. Could throw off the world's balance. But we would still need to be able to turn back time. I do not know what it is possible or even reasonable to hope for. For anything else, we must find a Magilith. On that much, I completely agree, Minas. Let's go to the library and dig up some info. I have a good feeling we'll find out where there's a Magilith. You heard that, Kiro? Let's get going. All right. Uh, who's been playing a bit of Mario? Who's been to the Mushroom Kingdom? For goodness sake, Marion, I've told you a thousand times not to wrinkle the linens. You poor girl, you have absolutely no sense of perfection. The Great Destroyer demands perfection. And I serve the Prophet, who represents the Great Destroyer. The Mist is so demanding, I'm more frightened of her than I am the Great Destroyer. I'm not even sure he actually exists. The Mist on the other hand, I couldn't be more sure. 
I've gone and blasphemed without meaning to. Please don't turn me into the disciples, I beg you. The best thing that, I've, that you've made is whiskey and licorice, marinated chicken and rice, and fried pineapple with licorice sauce. Licorice sauce, it sounds interesting. Is that like um like an aniseedy kind of some uh well like a sambuca kind of thing? Do you really think the Great Destroyer caused the Great Disaster? And what about the businesses with the five keys he needs to collect before destroying the world? Hmm. When I was little, I'd always go and hide in the sewers with my friends. It was full of rats and other disgusting stuff, but man, did we have a good time. But ever since the Great Disaster, I just didn't enjoy life anymore. Alright, so I can't go down into the prison. This town is, like, massive. Like, having to speak to everybody is, like... Avengers of the Snow Queen by Walt D. Good thing there is no sound. <laughs> Reference to Frozen. Our family has been poor for generations, but at least before we could see the sun... Now everything uses smoke. The smoke the smoke blocks out the sun and everyone's getting sick. The traders are the only ones getting richer. What do we get out of it, huh? I worry about my daughter's future. Licorice bars? Like like solid bars of licorice? Okay. Mommy worries a lot. Are all adults like that? Uh, yes. Yes, they are. Do you, what, you literally just like put the bars in like a saucepan and then like heat them up to melt them down sort of thing? Is that how it works? Disciples train at the Prophet's Pyramid west of here. It's got a big eye engraved on it. You can't miss it. Okay. It's an orphanage. Back in the Imperial days, this place was an orphanage for children whose parents died in the war. Nowadays, it's a home for people bankrupted by the traders and who have nothing left. I would have preferred taking care of the children. Adults only get what they deserve. It's their own fault if they're in debt, right? Makes you wonder why they do it. Didn't anyone tell them what might be happen? Well, no, because the traders just want people's money, I guess. Why? Why or why did they accept that contract? Every day I ask myself the same question over and over. My wife's never forgiven me. To think that I was taught to just say no to traders who, who want to sell me things I don't need. Yeah, maybe I should have said no to the guy who sold me the house. I didn't really need the house, did I? It gives me a free bed, I suppose, but that's about it. Leave me. I just want to die alone. I really tried. I'm re I really... Yeah, I really tried, you know. After working so hard, I'd almost managed to become a trader. And now I've lost everything. It's my fault. All my fault. Some chili powder, grind black pepper into the licorice sauce, and put a small portion of corn powder in to make it like a sauce. Okay. Sounds interesting. The thing is, though, like, the traders are like... The traders think they'd, like... It's, it's an age-old thing, though, isn't it? In this game, the, the traders have come in... Like, trying to give the people a better life, but at the same time, they're making their life worse because they're just basically scamming everybody for everything. And everybody's just ending up really poor. And they're not able to sort of live, and then, yeah, everyone's like in a... Um, everyone's in a uh, bit of a... Bit of a pickle. The legendary Wiking... Why... Why kings did exist by archaeologists. Also, these uh, barrels say Acme on them. Hello there. We have lots of high-quality equipment for sale, all forged with the power of smog. Take your pick. Sure. I don't know what I need it for, but... You don't want to time this one too much. No more smelly feet. They just smell like smug. Excellent. I mean, I guess that's... Uh...
Oh, we've got everything else, so... Wants to take what's in your chest while I'm here. Got the red goop. Can't beat a bit of red goop. Yeah, pretty much. Ah, you're not walking in uh, formation anymore. Anything to report? Just because the world will soon be annihilated by the Great Destroyer doesn't mean you should deny his existence. Only those who've helped the Prophet will be saved. Oh my sweet. One day I'll take you far away from the smog fumes, all the way to the south, 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 south forest, where the time stands still. Our love will be eternal there. Yeah, I suppose because it's, um, I guess it's quite, it's quite sugary, so it, there's like a chance it could like probably burn on the bottom of the pan, sort of thing. Oh, that's so romantic, but I'd rather go hiking on the frozen continent with only our love to warm their frostbitten bodies. I am your faithful knight. Your wish is my command. You romantic. Oh, my love. Oh, my darling. How about I invite my mother to come along? Oh, you've just killed it now. You've, you've killed the moment. <laughs> How about we forget the whole thing? Big rip. The food here is okay, but it's small beans compared to the McDonald's best restaurant on the whole continent. It's getting hard to find non-smoking rich fruits and veggies. Sure, they look pretty. They've got brighter colours, but they're completely tasteless. How am I supposed to use that stuff to cook up some proper plates of food? My daughter likes to play with her friends out in the courtyard at the inn. I can't imagine what they do out there all day. Ah, but perhaps she would like to rest for a while. Uh, no thanks. I have my own house and stuff. I just can't sleep with all that noise from those girls next door. Why doesn't their mother tell them to ease up a bit? Mommy, that man looks poor. Don't touch me, mister. You're going to give me a disease. Oh, wow. You was... Yeah. Step aside, old man. Can't you see I'm walking here? Being a trader's wife isn't exactly a cakewalk. True enough. We want, no we want for nothing, but my husband is... But my husband is away very often and com compensates by bringing our girls presents. I think they'd be better off if you were around more. I can't discipline them. I think they're just too cute to punish them. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, that's, that's the thing, isn't it? Um, we I know people like that who put their careers first. And yeah, I, I think they're, they're family people. They've got kids. But I think they miss out on so much of their, like, kids growing up and their kids' life. I think, like... I couldn't imagine not being around the kids like as much as some people are. That's how I did a lot of uh, ex cooking in my uh, younger sort of times. I mean, I just sort of experiment. I just like used to find things that I liked and then see what put things together and see what went with what. I'll make millions off this contract, assuming they don't read the fine print. Scam artists, a lot of them. Excuse me. All these books everywhere. I do hope the Prophet will enact a law banning them. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Looks like there was somebody there. But yeah, uh, like, like I said, I, we, I know people whose, you know, their, their partners are... It's mainly their husbands. Um, they are sort of away a lot, and I think it's. I, I can kind of like sympathise with that woman actually. 
you know, it must be like really hard to have to sort of parent on your own with no support. People do feel like single parents, especially when like their partners are out like for a long time every day. Anyway. Sure, the greatest fresh in the whole part of the continent, but there's also where we get the smoke from. As they say, it's all well as it ends well, right? <laughs> well, uh, except the victims of the great disaster, of course. But then, apparently, they didn't suffer at all. Boom, gone innocent. I mean, I don't know much about it. Uh, I wasn't born yet. <laughs> wow. So this town is massive. Huh? What? By lines stretch out on the ground, I can communicate with the Great Destroyer. The Great Destroyer is omnipotent and he will destroy the world in order to rebuild it. Do you think he can hear me? Mm, no, I don't think so. That's the library. <clears throat> Look, Kiro, the Imperial Library. I'm not sure what it's like now, but in my day it was known for its many documents. I bet if we get there, we'll find out plenty about this time period. They're also likely to have something on the location of the Magiliths. We'll have to find another one to get back home, seeing as that the one that got us here was destroyed. But Magiliths are quite rare, and even if we were to find one, how would we activate it? Not to mention it could end up taking us to an entirely new era. Venus, stop being so defeatist! What else can we do besides try? Nothing we can do will change anything. My people, my son, all of them dead. Ah! Kuro, I think Minos is going to need some time to adjust. Let's try finding information as fast as we can. Library access is restricted to the researchers. They are the only ones with keys. Yeah, I know. Who'd want to read books anyway? Totally pointless. Alright, so we've got to find a key. I guess that's why that guy was looking for a key, right? So maybe if we go back to his house, we can find a key. I just get the impression I'm finally coming to the end of this town. When I gaze at this fountain, I think of the future. The prophet has revealed it to us. He alone holds the truth. Water will wash over the world and, will be, and all will be flooded. The Great Destroyer is already at work, but the Prophet will save us. Sounds a bit like a uh, cult following, doesn't it? I don't know how much to believe in it. When I was young, I often came and played in the streets of Geneva. But after the Great Disaster, the city became a terrible place, with the traders and the Prophets seizing power. And the smug makes me cough, and many residents have fallen sick as well. Even since, I've cut down on trips to Geneva as much as possible. Sorry, ever since. Learn to read, knock. I'd rather eat here than in the tavern. This way I save up money to buy myself a meal at McDonald's every once in a while. Makes me draw just thinking about it. If the process rules, so does the military. First rule of the military. You do not talk about the military. What is this, Fight Club? Second rule of the military. You do not talk about the military. And don't even ask about rule 34. <laughs> I think the military is Fight Club. No, don't take in the bureau. You got 50G. I love it when people talk in their sleep. After a long day, members of the military come and rest here in the old Imperial Guard Room. It's funny to think that a hundred years ago, during the war, soldiers actually lived here. They must have had very skilled lieutenants to have won the war. Good evening, Mr. Smeltree. How are you doing? The military is being increasingly replaced with patrols of the Prophet's disciples. Oh, but I'm not a blasphemist. Just maybe it'd be better to keep things separate. 
My plan's to work in the military for a few years. After that, I'll save up and become a wealthy trader. It could happen. It's in our constitution, even. Well, very few have done it so far. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Good, thanks. Very well. Except for the sons of the traders, of course, but that's the only natural right. Anyway, I'll be one of them first to make it big. I just need to pull myself up from the bootstraps. I'll buy my bootstraps, even. I joined the military to defend Geneva, not to apprehend blasphemers. Plus, with every passing day, the definition of, a bla of blasphemy gets broader. At this rate, I can't say how far we'll go. Maybe we'll end up throwing everybody in the smug. What do you do with people? You just throw them in the smug? Jeez. Do you believe in the Great Destroyer? If you believe what the Prophet's disciples say, he's going to destroy the world. But if you ask for a, pre a precise date, they all get pretty vague. Maybe it won't happen for a few centuries. Or maybe it won't happen at all. Let's double check everything first. Mimi, did you get the key? Yep, Saku. I got it. Brilliant. How about you, Ribbon? Did you have the map? Yeah, boss. I've got the map. Awesome. I hereby declare Operation No Toys with Plenty of Books has begun. Saku, I was thinking we should come up with a better name for our operation. Fight Club was an interesting movie. I, I think it's got a great twist to it, Fight Club. I don't think you, I don't think you like see it coming until right at the end, like until it's like revealed the big plot twist. I just, it always like baffles me with Fight Club though. It's like, why did people join Fight Club? And spoilers, by the way, if you haven't seen it. Um, why did people join Fight Club? when they see a dude fighting himself, like beating himself up in a street. What what was the appeal to that? Surely you would like ring up the crazy people and be like, uh, yeah, we got, we, we got a, we got a mental patient here. We need to, uh, take him to the mental asylum. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's like from that, he kind of like built his army and, um, yeah, it's very, very interesting, but yeah. Um, I guess, you know, it was people's, like you're saying, it was people's place to feel like they're like sacred place almost. How about we call it Operation Super Mimi? Ugh, no. Mimi is just, it's just, it's not just your operation. It's all of ours. And so might I suggest Operation Saku and her friends. Well... Did you not get the memo, Iron, about Rule 1 of Fight Club? We do not talk about Fight Club. No way! Why should there only be your name in our operation? Ugh, oh, maybe it's because it was my idea in the first place. Well, I'm the one who stole my dad's key. If I get caught, I won't get dessert for at least three days. Which means I'm the only one taking the biggest risk here. Stop arguing, you two. I just want to read the books that are in the library. It's so boring without any toys. So, so we're going to call our operation Operation Books for Ribbon. <laughs> no! <laughs> you guys are so mean to me. Yeah, that's what I was saying, though. Given that the first rule of Fight Club is don't talk about Fight Club, there's your answer. I'm going to cry. Ribbon! Come on now, don't throw a fit. Hey, how about we go back to the our HQ to choose the name? Good idea, Mimi. Alright, everyone, return to HQ. Hey, wait for me, you guys. Alright, so I think the HQ is in the courtyard at the back of the tavern, right? Let's just talk to these guys. I think we talked to pretty much everyone. You don't look like you're from around here. Bit of advice, try not to blaspheme any near disciples or certain members of the military. Makes no difference to me, but some are a bit over overzealous. How do you blaspheme? Oh, there's loads of different ways and they just seem to get more un uncompromising every day. Tell you what, 
better you don't say a thing. Anyway, you don't really look like the chatty type. No, I've never spoken a word in my life. The old Imperial Jail was abandoned since there wasn't any need for it. Oh, there's still plenty of criminals out there, mainly blasphemers, but they were too expensive to feed and house. Don't get me wrong, we're not, sal we're not savages. We're not going to execute them or anything. That would be way too expensive anyway. No, instead, we send them into the smug. Nobody's ever come back, but at least we're giving them a shot. Mm. I beg to differ. Alright, so let's head to the courtyard then. At the pub. This is not the pub. This is not the pub you are looking for. Um, this is the pub? That's not the pub. That's not the pub. Is this the pub? That's the pub. There they are. You can see them all. And they got a treasure chest back there. They put the keys in there. Do they not like find it weird that I'm just like stood there? Everything. Watch out, girls. There's a creepy guy staring at us. Huh? Who are you? What are you doing in our HQ? Operation Solid Snail. Uh, I want to help you. Oh, really? Hear that, Mimi? He wants to help us. But help us with what, exactly? Good point. Help us with what? I was just about to ask that. So, what do you want to help us? What do you what do you want to help us do? What exactly? Steal books? Seriously? Are you nuts? You working for the Prophet Secret Service or something? Do you really think we'll admit to something like that? Forget about it. You're too green to try and nab us. Key? What key? Do you think I'm an idiot or something? I think I've got a key. Yeah, not bad. But I think we can come up with something better. Alright, so... Toys. What for? We don't need no stinking toys. We're not little girls who play with dollies. We do much more interesting stuff than that, right girls? Yeah, Saku. For sure. So, you see, keep your toys besides, they're illegal here. Uh, not much me, Crash. I'm just having a chill one for the first time in a long time. Um, probably do some um, bit gardening. Probably spend some time in the hot tub. That'll probably be my weekend. I like people who are direct, who know what they want. So, say you find this key of yours, like maybe in a safe or a chest or something, and maybe use it to get into the library. Sorry. And in the library, say you find, oh, I don't know, a book. In this purely hypothetical scenario, who you would you bring it to us? Yeah. You promise? Cross your heart and hope to die? Yeah, sure. Like, do you promise on your life? Yes. Well, I think we'll get along just fine. Keep your promise and you'll have nothing to worry about. There's a gateway to knowledge and maybe new problems too. All right, let's go and uh, find a book. Oh, it's Father's Day, is it, uh, family? Well, I hope you have uh, uh, a good day. Welcome to the Geneva Library. I suppose you're the new students? Uh, sure. I am the Dean of Geneva Library. We, res we researchers donate, d devote our lives to extremely important matters. 
For example, finding out why it itches when one is bitten by a mosquito. Oh, we're not concerned with finding a cure of some such substance. Knowing why it itches is clearly more interesting. By the by, I will discuss my own research when time permits. I am an expert in the study of ancient Magi civilizations, specifically the legends surrounding their use of strange powers in late anti antiquity. antiquity. <laughs> but before I can tell you all about that, you'll need to complete your studies. It's just that, look, Professor, we're in quite a hurry and... Quiet! You are students and in the library you must submit to the professor's authority. Unless you do not wish to learn anything. I, in which case, get out! Please forgive student Mina, Mr. Dean, sir. We'd be delighted to follow your lessons. In particular, the ones about Magiliths. Right, Minus? Yes. Well then, if you're determined, let us begin! You must receive credit for six core disciplines, courses in various fields. To do so, you need only to speak to my research colleagues in the library. Each of them will submit a problem allowing you to get credit for a particular subject. You can choose your own curriculum. You're under no obligation to do all of them, but I may have a little reward if you complete all eight. Did you get all of that? Sure. Splendid! Have fun studying, then come back when you are all done. But no sooner than that, I simply hate being disturbed. All right, so there's eight find. <laughs> he reminds me of my old professor. I've always loved studying. It's fun. He seems to know much about Magi. He will certainly have much to tell us about the Magilifs. Are you looking forward to uh, starting the new term, Mika? Are you the new pupil? I've dug up a strange relic with a mechanism I can't seem to end on. Do you have a few minutes to spare? Sure. You're too kind. Here, this strange item was found in some ancient Irulean ruins. There's no lock on it, save this, save for this bizarre keyboard with symbols. You would do me a great service by opening it. All right, number three, mysterious relic. This chest will open after the 16 buttons are pressed in the right order. The gold button must be triggered last. Which button must be pressed first to unlock the mechanism? Professor Layton now, isn't it? Okay, so... Let's go into two. To there. To there. To there. To there. There. There to there there to there 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 still go to that one that one I think I may have been around all of them it's just this one it should be this one I think Yay! I took one course in which we read and studied one poet maker. Xenophon? Xenophon? We read Greek text, and yes, you're looking forward to it. Alright. Sure, you'll smash it, Mika. Oh, thank you dearly. That was not so difficult after all. Now, I'll grant you an archaeology credits. Excellent. We got credits. It's like a professor Layton area then. You're a student, you'll see optic you'll see. Optics is as simple as ABC. I'll award you credits if you manage to solve a very basic problem. I mean, a three year old could do this. Sure. You'll see it's terribly easy. A beam leaves source A and must end up in the main conduit B. Move the mirrors to direct the beam to point 
B while activating all six crystals. What is this? Portal? Go up first. Uh, we can't. Well, we could go across. Have to come. Maybe it's impossible with our laser redirection cube. I almost feel like that should be the last move. And that one's being hit twice, which is the problem there. But if I bring these two down... We did it! Well, I miss Professor Leon. You figured it out! Well, you've earned credits for the optics class. Hello, my friends. It's Weezer Plazer, Plazer that I explain your you classic painting. You want to learn in? Thank you, my friends. Uh, painting a classica. To complete the painting, move the colours so that no colour appears twice in the same line or column. Alright, so it's Sudoku. Colours marked with a dot cannot be moved. Alright, so... There, there, there. So they are... They're right, I think. That's got to go there. Oh, wait a minute, there we got. Where's my other green? Oh, geez, sorry, right. it's not it's a little bit trickier than Sudoku, but okay. We'll roll with it. Smashed it. I hadn't even noticed that, but, uh, to be fair, fumbly. <laughs> I just solved it. Bravissima, you are one deserving the credits of painting the Classica. My accent was terrible through that one. All right. Look like scouts. Hello there. I'm a new cartographer. For, yeah, cartographer for the Council of Traders. They requested that I devise a new encryption system to secure trade. I finally developed a system that's uncrackable. Would you like to put it to the test? Terrific! If you manage to bypass my system, I will award you a credit for cryptography. Cipher. Out of the four systems, which one symbols? Which which one completes the series of symbols? All right. So we've made that broken. That. How do we get from? How do we get from a rotation? It's like one adds black. Hmm. It's your sub anniversary tomorrow. It's your eighth or ninth month of subscriber. Thanks a lot, me. I appreciate you, buddy. Really, I do. So. 
two, two, four. Um, I think it's going to be the third one. It wasn't the third one. See, I was basing that on like the 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 gaps. Two, two. The third one's got two gaps. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm not gonna sneeze. No. So I wonder if it's like this one based on there's nothing in the middle, there's two in the middle, then the fourth one's got something in the middle, hasn't it? I mean, I could obviously it's easy to brute force this, but I'd rather not brute force it if I can. I'd rather work it out. Um, A rotation going on. Looking at them fourth and fifth one, there's like breaks away that and then it rotates. takes away those two. Subtracts two. So, subtract two, does it subtract two from there? Yeah. I think it's this one. Is it this one? No. Is that one or that one?
Nineteen. Nineteen twenty three. Nineteen twenty three twenty one. I don't know, I'm just, I'm like counting numbers here and I don't even know if they're the right thing. 19, 23, 21, 23, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, Plus four, take away two, take away four. That doesn't work. Yeah, I'm just chatting absolute garbage at this point. Well, uh, I yeah, uh, um, I I don't know what the encryption is or, or what the pattern is here. I'm struggling to see the pattern. Is it to do? Uh, did you come to yours of accounting? Okay, how many pieces are on each pattern? Okay, yeah, one, two. Three, four, five. Is that not six? What? Like a miscount. One, two. Three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So we've got nine. Six. Oh, I chose the wrong six. No, it's only five, isn't it? Yeah, idiot. <sighs> what? You found it! Now I have to start again from square one. Leave me! Oh, yes, you have your credits. One of the things, like I say, you could brute force it, but it's better to understand what it is that you need to do. And I was just counting the wrong things. The library holds so many books, it must have been sorted meticulously. I'm in charge of the archives, but some because such a collection can't be perfectly sorted, I bear a title of an, ar an archivist. An archivist? It's a little joke dating back to the Imperial Eva. At any rate, I have tidying related conundrum that has me at my wit's end. I haven't slept for three nights now. If you'd like to give it a try. All right, let's do it. The obsessive sort. One of the books in the library isn't in its place. Can you spot which one? Okay. 
Okay. So, my initial thought on this one was... Might still be actually, yeah. It's to do with the lines. The one that's out of place is this one. And the reason for that is on the top shelf, um, all of them have one line above the like the label and three lines below. The second one, it's two either side. And this bottom one should be three above and one below. Um, there's this one right here has two above and two below. So the one that's out of place is this one. Indeed, the label on this book is framed by two horizontal stripes at the top and the bottom. It should be on the second shelf. To think I hadn't noticed it. Thanks for your help. You've earned your credit in an ar archival studies. Oh, dear me. We have this book in the triplicate. Here, take it. We're short on space anyway. There's my book for the girls. You've got 50 ghost stories. A book not everyone should read. All right, so there's three more to find. Before we go and talk to the old guy again. Greetings, young man. Researcher attached to the militia at your service. Speaking of service, how about you do me one? Perfect. The Council of Traders has tasked me with implementing a new patrol system for the militia. I've made sure to follow all their instructions, but I'm convinced there's a flaw somewhere. Wait, let me show you. After leaving gar guard room X, each patrol must reach one of the seven watchtowers. A patrol may go down any path, but must stop at the sixth tower it encounters. Also, it can never use the same path twice. If this is always the procedure, one of the towers will never have a garrison. Which one? Alright, so... Seven patrols. And they've got to stop at the sixth one, right? So, let's start off with A. Can I, like... Tell you what, we're going to have to... Uh... And now, to bring back a popular feature... It's time for Crafting with Nark! <laughs> Alright. So. So I, Mika. Have a great rest of the evening. Alright, so let's um, pull up my screen snip. I'll do this visually. It'll just be a lot easier. Alrighty then, so, <clears throat> so to clarify, we can do, it was seven, right? Let me go back a moment to double check that information. So, after leaving Guard Room X, each patrol must reach one of seven watchtowers. A patrol may go down any path, but must stop at the sixth tower it encounters. Also, it can never use the same path twice. This is always the procedure. One of the, one of the towers will never have a garrison. Which one? Okay. So, it doesn't say how many patrols, but we just need to work out how many um, we can get to. So, let's start with A. One, go here, two, three, four, five, 
six. So we can do A. Let's try and make it to B. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, six. C. going to be C, isn't it? Because we could go one, two, three, four, five, six, which doesn't work. We could do, I don't know, we can get C. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, we'll get C. Try D. One, two, three, four, five, six. E. E is here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it might be E. Let's ignore E for a moment. Let's try and get to F. There. One, two, three, four, five, six. And G there. Oh, G's an interesting one, though, as well, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, five, six. So it's between E and G. Have I overlooked something with E? Two, three, four, five, six. And two, three, four, five, six. Well, have I missed something with G? Um, so I'm seeing two here. Because I can't turn back.
here. Which one can I do? One, two, three, four, six. Go on the roller. Go away, roller. I need to check. Let's just recheck again. Let's recheck the rules. May go down any path, but it must stop at the sixth tower it encounters. It can never use the same path twice. So, you never use the same path twice, but is there a, is there like a little thing there? Could I use the same path three times? Doesn't say I can't use that. stop at F because that would technically be the same. Good Doctress. Well, well, thank you. How about yourself? We are throwing ourselves into this what this puzzle at the moment, like Professor Layton style. We're just trying to work out between G and E which of these um, towers would be the answer. Had a pretty rubbish day. Sorry to hear that, buddy. He was uh, so happy and optimistic last night. So sorry to hear you've had a bad day. I could use the loop. You finished your blender chair render? Nice. So I'm wondering if I can use the loop here. Let's 
three, four, to have taken an extra Thinks they've got it. Uh, I don't think so, no. I don't think there is. Um, no. All right, so the gist of this, um, just to fill you in, Doctress, as you've just joined in, like, in the middle of this one, the gist of this puzzle is we have patrols that leave from here, X, and they have to be stationed at each one of these, um, these seven garrisons. And they can only stop at a garrison, though, if they have, if it's their, the sixth one that they've passed. And you're not allowed to backtrack on the same path, okay? So, we've narrowed it down that we can get to all of the garrisons at the minute, apart from G and E. Now, we're just trying to work out how we get around that. How can we get to either G or E? Yeah, I haven't got the time to, um, <laughs> I'm not going to, um, try and decipher that. I think it's more likely to be
Hmm. I am not seeing this at all. We basically have only three paths, right? And cutting out the middle. I mean, we go past that one. But then we have no way of getting back to E. And we're blocked off there. Bit of a sneaky catch. I'm not surprised. That was why I wondered whether or not I could go. I know it said I couldn't go down the same path twice, but whether I could go down the same path more than twice. But... I mean, if I could do that, I could do this. Two, three, four, five. And I've technically been past this one. And I, so it's not a different one. So what if I go all the way around here again, and then a third time, I could do that one and make it to E. I don't know if it said that it had to be unique. Yeah, it doesn't, it just is, well whether or not it classes how do you interpret that though that the patrol may go down any path must stop at the sixth tower it encounters. So, is that the sixth distinct tower or just the sixth tower? Because if that was the case, right? then the answer would be G. Don't think there is a way to get to G doing that sort of technique because it's in the middle. You're more likely to be able to get to the outside ones. No worries, Doctress. Take it easy, buddy. Ooh. Hold on. This section here might be interesting. I can't use the same path twice, right? It 
Is there a way I could get here? Yeah, that's it. That's it. It's it's the loop. So what I could do is one, two, three, four, five, walk down here and get to six. Yeah, that's it. Right, I gotta uh, I gotta D rot thirteen Fumbly's messages just to see what you said. You don't technically use the same path if you go to A G E D G. I think that theory was um the family's first message said this guys just to keep you guys in the loop um but the second one yeah so you originally said a g F E D I think either solution works though, doesn't it? If you go around that way or you go around the other way. Two, three, four, five, six. It's it's the thought of I think what what throws you on this one? It's the thought of that you're going towards a blocked off path that you can't then go off. So you, your mind instantly tells you, actually, I can't go that way. Something I can't do. When actually, in fact, I really can do it. So our answer is E. I would. I'll look at this again now. Which from Nipping Tool to Paint. Um, oh, so. Your original answer, past the tower there. Okay, I see what you mean. Because of the placement of that tower, I was just like looking at the letter. But yeah, you would have to go past there. Cross over that little bit of path there that you've already walked past, I guess. Whereas the other one, the other way... I guess technically we're passing it here. Therefore, yeah, all right. I'm in your debt now, so if you ever need a problem, come by and see me. Well, I'm off to start drafting my report to the council. You fully deserve this credit for military operations. Alright, so let's check out the other two because we might as well go for the full house, right? Sorry, no time to chat. Too much to do. Hmm. Unless you are prepared to lend me a hand. So, here's the thing. Every 500 years, two comets meet in the heavens. Books on the subjects indicate that the next occurrence is this very night. I wouldn't miss this for the world, but unfortunately I cannot figure out what part of the sky they'll be visible in. Here, yeah, look at this map. When the two comets arrive, they will cross the map only diagonally. They will not intersect any star present either before 
or after they meet? In which square will they meet? Well, that means it's got to come down in one of... It's got to come down this diagonal. So from here to the top left... Maybe not. We have an in here, so from here to here, and that's going to intersect there. So going to intersect there. Oh, that was pretty easy. Of course, how could I miss that? Thank you for your help. Now to award you with your credits in astrono astronomy. Astronomy. All right, last one. Oh, hey man. Are you by any chance the standing engineer they sent to help me out? Sure. You took your time, didn't you? Here's what's up. We gotta replace the town's old piping network. I'm trying to trying like crazy to come up with the best outline for the connecting all the junctions, but it's a real brain teaser. Go on, take this map and get working. You must connect points A and B with a network of pipes. The junction in green cannot be moved but all must be connected to the final network. Move the pipes to create a single network that goes through every area of the map. All right, so I literally, okay, so I picked them up. That, okay, so we're just gonna start off with like the basic stuff, I guess. Junctions can't be moved. That's gonna have to go possibly like that. And uh, put that there. That would have to come down. Down or go round. Doesn't really matter. Alright, so I've got no uprights there, so that's definitely not right. That's got to go up, though. Connect that to there, that could go up to here. That would indicate to me we need a piece to go straight up here. But then that's bust on there, isn't it? All right, so let's go back to the beginning. Something I missed. So that to there, that's gonna go over to here. And just straight bit into there. Then that's not right, is it? So that would mean we're going to have to do that. A pipe into here. Then this one is going to go down to there. I know that's true. That's not necessarily true. could have something like that but no that's got to go up so that's either got to be yeah, it's gonna be straight up there this one will go into this junction here means that will come in from that direction this will come into there and this will go into there we need an upward pipe into there, one into there, and there we go. Boom. We did it. We got all eight credits. I was afraid it'd take all day. Thanks, man. Just got to hand the plant over to my assistant when it gets back. Whenever that is. You definitely earned your civil engineering credits. Woohoo. Uh, achievement. We got the scholar achievement. All right, let's go talk to um, our guy here. So, are you are your, your studies progressing well? Well, congratulations. You've finished all your courses. This calls for an extra reward. Here you go. 
You got a collector. Oh wow, collectible star. Is that all? All right, now on to teaching. What would you like to know? Imagine our people, or rather a civilization, that peaked more than two and a half thousand years ago, while the world was largely underwater. According to the legend, they possess magical powers beyond anything else in history. Some even say they could manipulate time itself. But these are most likely the exaggerated explanations of contemporary people to account for the strange phenomena after the fact. Nevertheless, after dominating the era in which they lived, they completely vanished 2,000 years ago. All they left behind were a few ruins and many unsolved mysteries. What would you like to know? What are commonly called Magiliths are in fact the most famous relics of the Magi civilization. While somewhat rare, they are evenly spread throughout various continents. It is not precisely known what purpose they serve. Deciphered writings referred to a road or a path, but where does it lead? Incidentally, it was a while searching for the Magilith that my former professor, also a great expert on the Magi, met her end. Quite a sad story, really. What would you like to know? Surely it's the greatest riddle ever put forth. Why would a civilization as powerful as the Magi vanish from the face of the Earth 2,000 years ago? And without a trace, or practically none. Even after years of research, I must admit I haven't the foggiest idea. What would you like to know? Uh, your professor. My old professor was a leading Magi expert. Her entire life was devoted to figuring out why they had disappeared. I recall she was particularly interested in the Magilifs. She thought that the stones contained the power that once triggered would enable her to learn more about the Magi. She discovered a Magilift that she believed she could activate with the Stone of Time. Sadly, she was captured by the pirates that lived in, on the island at the time. No one ever found a trace of her. That was on Magi Isle, the one people now call the Cursed Isle. Uh, Stone of Time. The Stone of Time is quite a legend in itself. It has some connections with the Magilifs, but I don't know more than that. The item predates the Magi by many years, so long ago, in fact, that no one remembers or when or why it was created. It's not even sure that the stone really exists. The only direct reference I was able to identify is in the archives of the Demonian royal family, which I was lucky enough to visit. The Stone of Time is evidently a large round stone, black, with an eye engraved in the centre. Inter interestingly, the eye resembles that used by the Prophet. A bizarre coincidence, if you ask me, but I am hardly concerned with the outside world. Uh, Magi Isle. Man's killing my voice. Magi Isle is located far to the east and can only be reached by a boat above the Sierra Harbour. Its name comes from the Magi ruins found there. Pirates made it their home only to be mysteriously driven out later. Whatever the case may be, fishermen still refuse to set a foot there. They believe that the island is cursed, and so it has the name become Cursed Isle. Quite the ghost story, as if they even existed. To get the Magi, Magi Isle, you need a boat. Keep in mind that only a member of the Council of Traders can provide you with a pass of safe conduct. <sighs> and finally, my voice can rest. So I need a safe pass from the Magic Council. Oh, from the council somehow. And that will get me a boat. And with the boat, we should be able to then get to Magi Isle. I know, right? <laughs> oh, you brought us a book. Let's see here. You give this to some innocent girls? Then again, it'll come in handy when we're older. You basically kept your promise. So here, this is for you. Easter, of course. Thanks for the book. Careful not to lose the key. I don't need the key anymore. We can trust you, I hope. All right, so we need a pass from. We need a pass from the council. I wonder if we need to go down to like this Professor Layton bloke. The 
boat. So, you're looking to get to the Cursed Isle. It's a weird place. I wouldn't go near it if I were you. But hey, it's your call. A force majeure letter signed by me is all you need to set sail. Naturally, it'll cost you. Would you have something interesting to trade? House? What on earth is that? Why would I want that? Oh! Well, that's one of my grandfather's badges. I thought they'd all been lost in the Great Disaster. Their value is strictly sentimental. Please, give it to me in exchange for a passive safe conduit. Thank you. As promised, here you go. We got the pass of safe conduct. All right, so let's uh, head on over to uh, catch a boat then, I guess. Well, this place is uh, a bit different to that last time I came here. All right, so I'm actually going to deviate slightly from here. I'm going to head to the Windy Ridge quickly and see if I can find this mountain to finish our, like, disciple training or whatever it is. He who sought to fly like the wind, unknown inventor. 1943 to 1012. I know you. Long time no see. What are you doing here, then? We call this place Windy Valley, but the Wind Guardian hasn't been seen here in ages. One guy actually tried to get the wind going again, but he died in the attempt. Anyway, as you know, none of that really matters. Have I met you before? Top Mount Alpha, you'll find an old temple dedicated to the Great Destroyer. There's also an old rusted-out doohickory in the corner. It looks like some winged machine. Weird, huh? I wonder what it is meant to do. Can you let me through? Oh, you're that novice. I was told you'd be coming to finish your training. Thank you. Watch yourself. Climbing Mount Alpha is the most perilous. After all, we have little use for weak disciples. Only the best among us will earn their place in the world post-annihilation. say Mario Yikes, I'm almost dead. That's not good. Those guys like dropping my head, I wonder. What? I got killed by the crystal? Well. strategy against those bats were particularly great. I gotta go this way then because the crystals. Oh, my God. 
And we wait. Oh, it's white. Da, 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 da. We got the green goop. I almost feel like I shouldn't be able to like jump this high. It's kind of bizarre. Kind of sword attack kind of makes things What? That's insta death? Really? Who the funk? Like a crystal equal insta death. I guess I just gotta wait by my time, not rush. You get some big air time. I need little jumps off that then. Or just not jump at all, just naturally let the thing take me. That works too. Level up! Faces, I can feel them. We're in face pulling ter territory. in the tent, right? Oh, they're on a timer. Man. 
that farming section goes on for ages. What? What happened there? Uh. Hmm. All right, maybe I can. Um... Get rid of spiders first. I don't know how I got into this. This crystals on the ceiling, though. Probably that's more the more the point. You're an archaeologist as well. Ever since I was a little girl, I've dreamt of unearthing a certain magic secret. It's something called the anomaly. If I locate the anomaly someday, I'll be internationally recognized. But seeing as I don't know what it is, looks like, for now, all I can do is search. This looks horrible. This looks horrible. Just for clarification, this looks horrible. The jump is like awful. I need to go backwards. No, I don't like particularly a fan of these platforming sections. I did wonder what that noise was. from there. Thank you. 
What was the point of the other path? Ah, oh, there was a crystal. I didn't see the crystal. <laughs> like Celeste's mechanics there with like the extra boost off the moving block we made it so we were told to come here and meditate right That doesn't look suspicious in the slightest, does it? What's the purpose of this then? Oh. Other than death. if there was like another path out of here but well no because I'm sure they, they said something about like there was something I had to like meditate here or something but there's Literally, like, nothing for me to interact with. So, he's a little confused. Unless I can use... Ah, there we go. Kuro, don't tell me. I don't think this is such a good idea. For once, I agree wholeheartedly with Miss Fina. This device looks dangerous. There must be another way to access the pyramid. Yes, another way. Of course. That is what we find. 
I... I must admit, I know of no other way. Oh no! Minus! Help me! I really don't want to fly. Well, not in that machine, anyhow. I... I could maybe give it a shot, but it's only to make you happy, Kuro. Most man, looks like it's only one seater anyway. <laughs> oh, we got we got some shoot my bullets. What's this? Reminds me of one of the games on um, when I played the lab on the VR. It was like there was a um, there's one where you could be a um, little like drone thing. You had to kind of shoot and a, a shoot, attack and avoid. Which is pretty cool. Oh wow, Fina's got an attack here. Pretty sick. Need the hearts, give me the hearts. Oh, got triple fires. Changing. We're going to the boss fight, aren't we? Yet. Man, how's I meant to do that? This time we start from the boss fight. Yeah, excellent. This is was almost there. It was almost there. We got the strap. We got the strap down.
Level up is not the best time to be leveling up. <laughs> well, actually it is, because it gives me extra health. So, actually, I will take that all day. <laughs> Are we done? Please say we're done. We're not done. Also, that's... Minos' attack isn't as good as uh, Venus' attack, I'll be honest. This is like a widespread, whereas Minus' attack is not just sort of deals damage in a line, which is not so great. I find it hard to actually like, keep tabs on where my character is. I'm just kind of like looking for where there's gaps. And trying to kind of concentrate on the gaps as opposed to anything else. how I'm still alive, but I am somehow. We have another boss fight. Reminds me of the freaking boss from Kirby 64, and he's 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 a bit harder, for sure. At least we get maximum health when we. Uh... is actually a bit easier to dodge actually than I first thought. Just 
not doing a very good job of sort of like keeping my aim on him, unfortunately. I'm pretty much wasting all of my special attacks. So close. All right, this time, this is the one. Concentrate a bit more on my special attacks. Yeah, that's a good point, actually, uh, Fumbly. Business says it's going to be another wave. A bit like the uh, old uh, Gelosity map that we played last night. It's like so much concentration. I'm like playing into this in a minute. I apologize for like not talking too much. frames it's no fair lost where my character is like no idea at all where they are on the screen I'm just like randomly looking around at, at times there's so much going on
I get a boss fight? I think we are. Hopefully this will be the last one. Man, your tip there, Fumbly, about the uh, yeah, Minos, man, on the boss attacks is the way to go. We did it somehow. Please, that's it. It looks like we're over like the area. Where to go, Kuro? We're getting close to the pyramid. Hey, do you do you know how to land this thing? Uh, no. What? Seriously? Couldn't you say that before? We must descend and quickly now. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely like the boss power there to use for sure. Crash right on top of the pyramid. Go. Are you alive? Too bad. <laughs> Remind me to never let you take the wheel again. How'd that thing even fly, anyway? At any rate, your aim was true, Solid Snail. We made it to the top of the Prophet's Pyramid, and that is what counts. No, you're wrong. What counts is that we almost died. That was way too risky. I'm not so sure. I have contemplated much since our paths first crossed. Everything that has happened to us. Surely it can't all be coincidence. Give me a coincidence, sorry. One would think events have wo woven together to make us the key players in this story beyond ourselves, as if something or someone held sway over our fate. But I thought demons didn't believe in fate. That is true. Or rather, it was. I no longer know what to think. And so, here, the fabled stone of time. Awesome. Quick, let's grab it and get out of here before anyone sees us. Too late! Uh oh. Aha! So you have returned! You know it. You know it's not very polite to interrupt someone when they're. This is my place! I'll talk however I want! I have long awaited this moment. I don't know why he suddenly gets high pitched when he laughs. Each and every day. Bit by bit. Gaining power. Obtaining this stone. In order to defeat you, Great Destroyer. It's official. This guy is off his rocker. Kuro, the Great Destroyer? That's about as likely as 2 plus 3 makes 7. I will have to do the math. Two, three, seven. Nee! Two times three make times seven makes forty-two. The number of the great destroyer. You're gonna have to calm down, Prophet Sir. Nee! Uh-oh. He looks angry. Hiya! He seems to want to face you in single combat. This will make for a good training. 
Just remember, Solid Snail, the trick is to defeat him before he wins. No, really? <laughs> no need to thank me. I'm here to help. I'm sure you can beat him, and I'll do my best to provide backup. Oh. You got fine game mode. Ah, oh, they got the classic moves. Man, this game's got everything. Hey, you grab me. <laughs> I can't believe we've like turned into Street Fighter now. for special. I don't know how I use special. Me! Now I will show you my true power! I'd say he's bluffing. Oops. Maybe I was wrong. I don't know, use a special before if I'm late. <laughs> it just seems to randomly use, I guess. Blocked his special. All right, well, we kicked his ass. We are the MMA champion. You truly are the best, Great Destroyer! Why do you call Solid Snail Great Destroyer? I recognize him. How could I forget it? I was built from a child when the Great Destroyer came, but it was truly him. 
The prophecy does not lie. He will gather the five keys. All will be covered in water. He will destroy the world. What's he saying, Kyoru? You're the one who's caused a great disaster? Tell me that's not true. Miss Fina, saw his now, has no memory. He knows nothing of his past. But then, if we return to our time, all of this will, won't have happened yet. That means it's his future. That depends on how you look at it. But if so, we must prevent the prophecy from be being realised. You heard that, Kiro? I will not let you become the Great Destroyer. Let us take the Stone of Time and make our way to Magi Isle. Do, 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 do. Not to be used to play bowling. Handle with care. We got the stone of time. Alright guys, well, I think that is going to be as good a place as ever, as any, sorry, to uh, call it. So uh, yeah, made quite a bit of um, good progress tonight. I'm uh, pretty happy with... Uh, what we've done and where we've come from we'll be back playing this again on a monday night next week and uh we're gonna head over to the old cursed isle i guess and uh, see what we can do over there but uh yeah even more than, uh, just when i think i've seen it all in this game and all the crossovers um it continues to um give me more give us more and uh show us even more how uh, far out they're going with this game but thank you very much for watching guys i appreciate the support as always i've been not keeping awesome stay safe take care and happy gaming.